Hey guys, it's your favorite Donobot here, and today it is King Kong versus King Caesar. Monsterverse versus Showa. So, yeah, let's uh let's get down to it. Y'all already know how we do here. We get down to the meat and potatoes, but first things first, I'd like to give a shout out to my boy King Churros. Go give him some more subs, go give him some more love. Y'all mess with me, y'all gotta mess with him. And we actually talked about this, believe it or not, in an old collab i think we got to redo it it was king caesar from final wars versus kong where we said kong would destroy uh king caesar but then again i was thinking yo what if it was showa right so showa king caesar versus monstrous kong size equalized right so king caesar should actually be in the large star levels since he is comparable to godzilla and being able to obviously damage Mechagodzilla, who was beating up Godzilla himself here. Now, he would also scale to other monsters, like Varen, Anguirus, etc. And believe it or not, in, I think, the Destroy All Monsters novelization, um, Varen was actually able to break King Ghidorah's wing. So, um... <laughs> kind of crazy ain't it and if Varen's able to do that and he's easily comparable to Godzilla who was able to damage King Ghidorah as well as early on Rodan and Mothra and stuff like that there King Caesar should be in those large star levels due to other monsters being able to affect um Ghidorah the same Ghidorah that is confirmed to be stronger than anything the Garugas basically had this would even include the Garugas nukes which have been able to terminate entire planets even gas giants like Jupiter literally blowing them completely up and considering the sheer fact that Jupiter is a gas giant meaning that these missiles will not only have to destroy the gas giant but also its gravitational um orbit as well here or the gravitational pull it has around well i guess the stability of the entire thing on the gravitational level then yeah um king caesar should be very comparable to that is what i'm trying to say here and with him being able to take attacks from mecha godzilla being able to toss him around throw him around even judo throw him king caesar also has a high level skill is even a martial artist himself and he's able to absorb and redirect any energy that comes at him and redirect it 10 times the original amount through his eyes back at his opponent. So, yeah, I think that should really cover it for King Caesar here. This section might actually be a bit shorter than I thought here. Matter of fact, I think this video is a lot shorter than I expected here. I mean, I'm used to kind of doing 13 to maybe 14 minute videos but again it's pretty simple here i mean king caesar you could easily scale him to most of the end well not the zone fighter um era but at least comparable to some of the end of series monsters like Anguirus, varin rodan you know those who are actually able to harm king Ghidorah and destroy all monsters he should be relative to them in a decent way probably superior to them considering the fact that mecha godzilla was able to break Anguirus's jaw and straight up beat the mess out of him so yeah i think it's um <laughs> pretty safe to say that king caesar is in those large star level domains here when it comes to the showa era so that being said here i think i've said enough about this great guardian lion himself let's actually talk about kong the eighth wonder of the world the king of the apes as of right now right now kong himself in the monsterverse is actually pretty good when it comes to scaling here he would actually somewhat scale to godzilla and he's easily able to well at least with the beast glove able to affect him shimo and scar king with their blows there this is the same godzilla that is 20 times stronger than his base form pretty sure some uh evolve stands are going to come at me saying that he's stronger than thermo when again all the evidence by both the writers and directors and even the novelization points to that it's not it's barely even comparable to his critical mass stage so um yeah crazy ain't it and kong was able to overwhelm this same godzilla and actually managed to daze him with it being confirmed by adam wingard that kong was not trying to knock out or 
actively trying to fight Godzilla here. So you could actually say Kong held back a little bit. And then again, Godzilla still would have actually been able to overwhelm him and kill him. However, the sheer fact that Kong actually caught him lacking pretty bad here does give him some significance. Kong should also be, I guess you could say, slightly stronger than what he was in GXK or GVK, excuse me. As neither him and Godzilla were at full strength, Kong was drugged up while Godzilla was tired. And Godzilla managed to still perform this Hollow Earth feat, which is actually him punching through or possibly even affecting a decent portion of the Hollow Earth's gravitational inverse, which is comparable to that of supermassive black holes putting them around door star level. Now, I know a lot of people like to say they're able to tank this as well, so why wouldn't they be solar system level? The reason why is because it's a biological feat. Even lesser monsters like the vertices, as we've seen in Godzilla um, x Kong the New Empire, would be able to go through the hollow Earth gravitational inverse as well. Kong has even been able to beat monsters like Kamazots, the Kraken, and you could honestly say it as you will here but he should be somewhat comparable to mecha godzilla if he was at full strength here and the reason why is because if kong was able to fight him with the beast glove he should be able to like tear him apart at least somewhat comparable to the axe here so um yeah that pretty much does it for kong in terms of his hand-to-hand -hand fighting capability he's one of the better monsters in the monsterverse and he does show some I guess you could say semblance or resemblance of skill here when it comes to his fight with characters like Scar King, Shimo, and he also has some good reaction speed, being able to block Shimo and Godzilla's atomic breath, which are compared to, to chair which are comparable to chair call radiation, <laughs> which actually allows him to move at light speed um even underwater. So they would easily be relativistic in their reaction and combat speed. Whew. Gosh, that was a lot, ain't it? So, yeah. Um, Kong, Beast Glove, should be one of the top tier. Um, top, mm, I'd probably say top seven strongest kaiju in the MonsterVerse here. But without further ado, I think that kind of does it here. Let's actually talk about who wins more often than not. Now, I do believe in a size equalized situation here, this is actually now pretty bad for Kong. The reason why is because it's very simple. Kong has no hands, or at least not enough hands to compare to King Caesar. You're putting someone who struggled badly against the Scar King when he was faster, more agile than he was, being able to actually flip kick him multiple times, get his whip around him, and even go on to choke him out. Meanwhile, King Caesar in attack potency is very much comparable, if not flat out superior to Kong, with again, large star level actually being greater than small or dwarf star level in a decent margin here. Then there's the skill factor, because King Caesar actually has martial arts prowess, being able to use judo throws, roundhouse kicks, and even being able to use shoulder charge and shoulder throws as well, meaning that in a size equalized scenario, he would be able to throw around Kong and actually mess him up pretty badly. Then there's the sheer fact that the Beast Glove does still have some of the gravitational energy of Monster vs. Mechagodzilla. This means that King Caesar might be able to absorb a decent portion of that energy or when Kong even does hit him because I do think King Caesar is faster because again um, they're comparable to monsters that can fly in outer space pretty easily and with that being said here the Beast Glove itself if he, Kong does not use the energy portion of it then yeah it really wouldn't do much and this turns into a just a hand-to-hand -hand fight like on a regular basis. And this just winds up being in um, King Caesar's favor. He's a better grappler. He's a better fighter overall. And in all honesty, yeah, Kong would get mid-diff at best. Now, again, if King Caesar had no skill, then this would be a high difficulty for him. But again, King Caesar just has better hands. But that's going to be all for today. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and share it to your friends. This is Legendary Grimlock, and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace.